So we made the bloody playoffs. Without a doubt, the greatest end to any competition is the championship playoff final. We've got the semi-final and then maybe a final. I'm wearing the blazer already. Let's get into the first game against Sunderland. And we're jumping straight into the action in the playoff semi-final up against Sunderland. Start of the first game at home and we went 1-0 down after just 60 minutes. Mr. Diallo. But then a minute later, a bit of a mix-up at the back. Sami hit it on the left into Wits. Made it one all. This was going to be a close game by the looks of it. Second half now. Mara on the right-hand side into Whittaker. The pass you want is played. I love that the match engine now does that. We're 2-1 up. 55 minutes, the ball comes out. Are they going to break? Mara does well. Ramsey does even better. And Wits makes it three bloody one. Literally 30 seconds later, Santos comes forward and the boy we tried picking up plays a world-class pass to Joe Gellard. It's 3-2, game on. 62 minutes, big throw on the left. is whipped over and Coops, the shortest man up, makes it 4-2. And that's how the first leg finishes. We're off to the stadium of light for the second leg. Okay, second leg, 80 minutes in. Ollie Cooper with an amazing interception runs all the way through and puts us 1-0 up in the second leg. Then just the 22nd minute, Ramsey on the right-hand side who's been a fantastic side and gives it back to Fulton. A bit of a mix-up, but Ockerflex makes it 2-0. We're flying now. Surely we're in the final. 28th minute, Sunderland put it in there. Joe Gellhart, 2-1. Game on. And then just... A few minutes later, late in the second half, is a great header for Maksimovic. 2-2, 63rd minute. We're coming forward. We lose out. 9 on the right-hand side. He's got numbers in there. I thought it was a penalty, but instead Santos makes it 3-2. And that's how it finished, but I've got to show you one clip because this is insane. So yeah, in the 90th minute, this happened. Bar came forward, and I knew I was banging treble. The fact they got so many boys up. But look at this cross. Santos. Oh my God. He should have scored. The boy that slipped out of our grasp in the summer missed that in the 90th minute. We are in a playoff final and we go up against Middlesbrough. This is going to be a very, very tough game. If we look at the league and how it finished, you can see how impressive Middlesbrough were. They were so close to going up. Look at this. 91 points, 91 points, 38 goal different, 38 goal different, 78 goals to 76 is what the defining area was. Oh my word alive, that was a brilliant finish. So Middlesbrough are hurting. I'm hoping we're going to capitalise on that because we need to do a bit better. And you know what? Look at our goal difference here. 91 goals is the top scorers in the division, but we conceded 71 goals. Let's not forget the start of our season was a wash with goals galore, twos and threes, all the way down to four. I'm hoping that we can keep a clean sheet today. But Middlesbrough are a world-class team. We're off to Wembley. The suit is on. Let's get into the game. Now, this is the team we're going for. And I've debated long and hard about up top, Piro or Mara, or even removing Wits or Cooper for Mara. Because Mara is on decent form. If you look at the last five games, he's rocked up with, oh, just two goals and one assist. I'm thinking he's on better form. But it was that wonderful performance against Cardiff, of course. Right then. In that case, that's what we're going to run with. So a back four of Naka, Darling, Kabango, Ramsey in front of Semper. Grimes, who's struggling for fitness, but he is starting. Sarmiento and Kendall on the wings. Whittaker and Cooper behind. Perot. Let's get into the game. And here we are at Wembley Stadium. There is the team we're going with. Middlesbrough are probably a 4-2-3-1. Of course, they got Michael Carrick as manager, who is impressing in real life as he is in game. And they're a great team. Chupa Akpom up top is a danger man. Come on, boys. Oh, my word. I went to the playoff final against Reading, and that was one of the greatest days of my life. Let's see if we can get another one. And we got an early highlight from Deep Darling out to Sarmiento. Gets it down well to Coops. Can Coops cut inside or pull the ball back to somebody? He does go inside. Sarmiento's through into Wits. It's bloody 1-0. Four minutes in, 18th goal of the season. We can't win this game, surely. We're not ready for the Premier League. Great work by Cooper on this side. Cuts back inside. Sarmiento with a great run through. And this pass here, the two of them just getting each other's way. But Wits, bit of composure. 1-0 after four minutes. Wow. And the ball's played over to Wits. We're through again. Piro, he's not going to make it two, is he? Oh my God, what a finish. It's 2-0. Bloody hell. Unbelievable. Six minutes, 2-0. This is an insane start to the game. Here come Burra. Surely they're going to get a goal and come back into it. Fry cuts inside to Akpom. Oh, terrible defending. 
What a save, Semper. Jeez. Resulting corner. Jetro Williams, a great sign in this season. Oh, it's a cracking whip, but it's cleared well. Oh, we had a one-on-one -on -one for a second then. But Falls comes forward into Jones. Are they going to do anything? Hackney to Willems. Oh, good ball, but Semper does well. This pace has been electric. 12 minutes in, we've got yet another highlight. Hackney and acres of space into Force. Oh, it's over the bar. Let's encourage these boys here. It's a corner. 70 minutes in. Grimes with a cracking whip. But Stefan, great goalkeeper, picks it up easy. And they're slow at getting forward Middlesbrough here. They're just getting their shape. And we've got enough boys back there to mop that one up easy. And look how many boys we've still got forward here. The counter we're really good at. We just need to break the first line. And Middlesbrough defend quite a lot. Considering they're losing 2-0. And Grimes and Naka in a bit of space. Coops, Sami and Doe. It's 3 0. Oh my God. Oh, boys, what are you doing to me? This can't be promotion already. Jesus. Grimesy into pro. Lovely play. Naka, this pass here to Coops. And then that to Sami and Doe. We got. Did we get lucky? Was that a deflection? I don't think it was. I think it was still a goal. 3-0, mad. 36 minute, it's a throw into Middlesbrough, out on the right-hand side, Lenehan on the ball, great ball to Jones, and we've cut it out, we're pressing so well. Wits has lost it though, and Jones has got space to run into, ball goes in there, oh, it's missed. Oh my, word alive. And it's a free kick just before half-time, Willem's got a great ball in there, oh, it's hit the post, and he's missed, oh my word. Oh, how are we winning this 3-0? It's insane. Not only have we only had 1.07 XG and done very well for our chances, I'll be honest, but Middlesbrough are just missing the goal entirely. Analytical data, we got a nice shape. They got a nice shape. It's a cracking game, to be fair. 3-0 is not a fair reflection on what we're seeing. I, I just hope that the second half is 0-0. Wow. Now, Coops has picked up an injury early on in the first half, which kind of suits me because I can get Mara on there. Everybody else is all right. Grimes is only on a 6.8. Fulton would give me a bit more steel, and I'm quite happy with that, to be fair. 60 minutes are gone. Okay, it's a highlight to Borough. If they score now, it's game on. If they don't, don't even say anything. Oh, my God, he missed it. He should have scored. Right, with the boys at the back, Ramsey's rocking a 6.6. .6. We need old head Kyle Norton at the back to steady the ship. Aside from that, the bench is quite weak. Maybe Kendall off for Ocoflex for the last 10, but I'm not going to do anything until then, really. 70th minute mark. Norton on the ball. Back to Cabango. We're still pushing up high. It's the best form of defence. Unless Cabango loses. Semper off to Darling. Knacker on the ball. Fulton inside. Cabango. Bit of space. We're coming forward nicely. Oh, go on, Wit. He's lost. Oh, he's got it. Oh, my word. Should have been 4-0. Mad. Resulting corner. Go short. You've got the option. He's coming out. Ah, ball's in there. It's cleared. Got a bit of space for wits. And that's the end of the highlight. We're in the 80th minute. I think we may be going to the... We are. We're going to win this game, aren't we? Oh, boys and girls. Thanks for watching this series so far. It's only been short. It's our first season. We were in 19th position just a few months ago. One of the greatest turnarounds I've ever seen in Football Manager. The two signers in January have certainly helped us, but the reality is we've got the core of players we've still had. The low knees have come in, but the likes of Whitaker, Cooper, they've all stepped up and done their bit. Premier League is going to be a different kettle of fish. Even if they score that wonderful goal now, he's offside. Fantastic. That was a beautiful move, but offside. We're going to the promised land. We're going to the Premier League. We're not ready for it. I'm incredibly nervous, and I think we're going to get battered week in, week out. I want to do this in a sustainable manner. It's full time. Where's the ticker tape? Where's the ticker tape? Come on. Do we get... It's not a trophy, is it? So I suppose we don't get it. Oh, man. Well, that was a bit of a damp squib. Insane. We've got the final day promotion to the Premier League. Budgets. What? £39 million? Are you kidding me, boys? What? We're skint. Where's that come from? Oh, my word. Transfer budget for... Look how much money they're giving us. So this is a secret to Swansea City. We just get promoted and they give us like 73 million pounds in a few seasons. Wow. All the money. Now we just need to work out what we're going to do because this summer is going to be huge. Oh my God. I'm in shock. Are you in shock? I'm in shock. Like the squad is tiny. You take out the loanies we've got. Some of them I love to buy. Ramsey is an absolute star. I can't afford him. Well, I can now. 
I doubt he'll come to me, but he's a brilliant player. Sarmiento has been great for us this season. Really like him as a player, but he's not a defensive winger. We're going to go shopping for two of them this summer. And Perot is definitely not Premier League quality, I'm afraid to say. He's just too slow. He's not very physical in this game, even though he's decent in real life. Sikamara, on the other hand, he would do very well in the Premier League. So I wouldn't mind looking to see if we get him. Did Southampton get relegated? They love getting... No, they didn't. Who got relegated? Maybe we can pill for them. Oh, some big teams. Brighton have got some cracking players. Do we go in for Mr. McAllister? Because all these players will probably have lower release clauses in their contracts. Van Heck, I've had him in a previous save and he is an amazing defender. I don't know if he's got like a minimum fee release clause for going rel down. Nah, nothing in there. But a player we could go in for. One of the best defensive midfielders in the game, Saicedo. How has he got relegated? Madness. Levi Colwell. As a wide centre-back, amazing player. Oh, who's the speedy winger they've got? What's his name again? Mitoma, that's the boy. Oh, man. Defensive winger on support. Now, he'd be good. Ah, Mark and tackling, not great. But still, though, how good would he be? Oh, I'm excited. I've got money to spend. I've never had this. I'm genuinely shocked. We've got a huge sum in front of us to rebuild this squad. I want to do it gently. I want to create a legacy and bring a few players into develop the club, not financially cripple us. Tune in for the next episode next week to find out how episode number one of the Premier League journey goes with Saving Swansea. Let's go.